All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in today uh, for Freedom Shooter 13's first ever gear review. Uh, I'm going to start off with a little EDC, uh, what I carry on the daily. Um, we'll start off with the gun. That's the biggest thing here. It's a Glock 19 and a Huckleberry Tactical Holster. Um, it is loaded, obviously. i got no problem with that. Um, I run Hornady Critical def Defense. Uh, I believe this is 124 grain uh, hollow points. I don't, uh, you know, I don't recommend running anything else besides hollow points in your guns, whether it's Corbon, Hornady, Remington. Um, don't run FMJ. And I'm not one of those guys that stacks one, you know, every other. I recommend running complete hollow point because in all reality, you are responsible for that bullet after it hits the person you're defending your life from. So hollow points in a Glock 19. Um, this has some custom stippling done and, and a custom Saratoga job. All done by Shore Shot Armament out of uh, Roanoke, Virginia. His information will be down below. Also, Huckleberry Tacticals will be down below. I bought all this stuff on my own, by the way. Um, I bought this Glock 19 from another guy who had got the work done. Um, but it's been awesome. You know, I've ran myself a couple hundred rounds to it so far. Um, he ran a couple hundred. I mean, there's probably over, you know, a thousand or two thousand rounds to that Glock 19. So, no malfunctions yet. You know, and I run Blazer Brass Ammunition. And I get it for around $10, you know for 50 rounds so 20 cents a round um, now over here uh, this is just a magazine carrier I got from a guy off eBay um, local or I believe he was uh, I can't remember his name but I'll find out his name and post that below too it's a good quality mag carrier um, I didn't like the retention pin in the middle because the mags wouldn't fit for some reason so like I said poor quality on the kydex job he did there but I'm not a big fan of these clips. I'm going to put that out there. Not a big fan of the clips. Um, rather go with the belt loops. This one's already starting to kind of kick out to the right and lose its retention. Um, magazines for guns. Let's talk about that next. Uh, always want to go with factory mags in a self-defense gun. You know, you can run your your Troys or your Pro, your Mech Gears and your Pro Mags and all that stuff just for practice. Sure, I don't know why you'd buy that stuff, but yeah, go for it. Um, it definitely is cheaper, but if you ever need to use it in a self-defense, it's probably not going to work that well. I always use factory mags. Um, in an AR-15, I use Magpul Gen 2s. You can usually get them from anywhere 8 to $10. So, uh, But in Glock, I always run factory mags. Uh, the Korean mags, I uh, haven't had much luck with those, and I haven't had much luck with uh, the Pro mags and stuff. But So always Glock mags. Um, so besides the gun, and besides the mag carrier with the... Uh, two extra mags that I carry daily. Uh, I go with a good watch, G-Shock. I like them a lot. Uh, very simple watch, waterproof. Uh, this one has a compass in it. I really like that feature, stopwatch, things like that. Uh, light on the watch. Uh, those are just simple things that I look for. You know, I don't really care if it's analog or what it is. Um, this watch is going to usually run you about a hundred bucks. And so we can go back there. Let's uh, let's talk about that for a second. Also, good quality handgun. You know, you want to buy a Glock or M&P, Ruger, um, something with some track record. I'm not a big fan of Taurus, not a big fan of high points, obviously. You get what you pay for. And when you're depending your life on a, on a tool, for example, you know, you're going to want to, you know, you're going to want to spend the money to buy something good. And so that's, as a college student, that's a hard decision. It's easy to go out and spend 200 bucks on a gun, but when you try to spend four or five, um, Gonna run into a problem. So this is what I recommend: get on arms list. Um, I will use Virginia Gun Trader Facebook. Look for those used guns out there. You know, a good quality gun. You know, say a Glock 19, you might could get for four hundred dollars when off the rack they sell for five fifty. You know, a Gen 3 uh, or even a, a heavily used Gen 4. These guns are are meant to be used past two thousand rounds, past three thousand rounds, heck, past ten thousand rounds. Um, a regular guy, 90, on YouTube, ran an M&P, you know, 30,000 rounds. And so, we don't really have much to worry about, guys, with guns being overused. And so, recommend a good quality gun, um, something with some track record. Uh, good mags, good carriers, all that stuff. These holsters also, um, I think this one was 40 bucks, and then this one was probably 20 or 30 bucks for the mag carrier. Um, the Kydex, Kydex is usually good all around. What you got to worry about is their fasteners. Uh, cheaper Kydex usually uses horrible fasteners. 
So as long as you put some uh, blue Loctite or even some red Loctite, I'd use red Loctite on it. The stuff should usually hold up pretty good. Uh, excuse me. So go to my keys. Uh, one thing that I recommend as a college student is if you have two keys or two cards in your family, um, always have the spare key on your key, in my opinion. Um, hopefully you got more than two spares, but uh, say your wife's gets locks her key in the car, you can run over to her and let her use your key in your car. Um, it's always good. That's always what I recommend too. Having an extra, key, having both keys to both cars on your key ring. Um, I usually run this too on my on my key ring. It's a little sog knife. It's a, actually stays has a lock on it too. A little lock mechanism. Recommend those. Uh, this is just for show purposes. I usually carry a sog knife. I don't have it with me right now, but a uh, little Swiss Army knife, you know. Victorian X, good company. I recommend good knives. You're mostly going to cut boxes with them, but you really never know, uh, you know, if you have to use it for self defense. I recommend, you know, knives with locks. That was just, in my, that wasn't the best knife to show for that. It's the only one I had laying around here. But, uh, so besides the watch, you know, have your little wedding ring there. That's super important. Get the ladies off. Uh, but, uh, this is my belt, and it's pretty big, obviously. A lot bigger than. Most of you guys have belts, but that doesn't matter. Uh, it fits me. So uh, this is a special operations equipment. Um, just, it's not a rear. I, I would say just one of their Cobra belts. It's a one and a half inch. Fits through all my Levi's and Wranglers. Don't have any problems with that. Um, but what you want to do, so I say if you're carrying a gun, you need a good belt. And you need a good holster. That's, you know, that's just straight out of the book. But what you want to do is if you're in a store, you know, and you're looking for a good belt, Give it a little squeeze, and if it compresses, if the if the walls compress, it's not good enough. You want something that's really hard and rigid. Galco makes a good leather holster if you want a leather hold or a leather belt. Uh, their belt's really good. Uh, this one ran probably about fifty bucks, forty bucks. Check them out on Facebook. Check Special Operations Equipment on Facebook. They're always getting hassled by a bunch of people there, but they make good quality stuff. Uh, it's made in America. Got no problem with them down there. You might have a little bit of a wait time for their stuff, but it's the best in the market. Um, and they're always running 25% off sales on their stuff. So wait for a sale, order it, it'll come in. You know, mine usually takes two to three weeks to get their stuff. Some guys complain about nine weeks, that's on the specialty stuff, you know. But good quality belt, uh, that's what you need to start off with. And so I'll post all this stuff down for where I got this stuff from, the Huckleberry Tactical. Uh, special operations, the you know, good quality stuff. And the thing is, is the only thing missing here uh, is a little bit of medical gear and also um, a flashlight. You know, I usually have you know 511 flashlight that I run with this. But you know, I recommend Surefire. If you have the hundred bucks, get on eBay, look for a used Surefire. You probably find one for eighty to a hundred dollars. That's what I recommend. That's what I'm looking for right now is adding to uh, a Surefire to my EDC. Um, recommend a Surefire. But in my truck, I carry a mag, an LED mag light just because, you know, you run them over with a the truck. They're fine. I got no problems with them. And they're cheap. You can get one for 19 bucks, you know. Um, but carry a 511 flashlight. That's been doing okay with me or for me lately. But I'm trying to get a Surefire here soon. Um, but, uh, like I said, um, this isn't everything. This is just a little quick EDC video of what I was carrying today. You know, I grabbed this, this, uh, <laughs> knife because I left it in my truck. I left my other one in my truck. But, uh, let's see. That's it for today. Be looking forward to a, a medical bag review that I did, that I do here in about a day or two. Um, and also, always remember that your personal success in life depends on, depends on your ability to motivate yourself. Thank you and have a great day.